hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel trouble free in this video i am going to explain you about rank of a matrix so what do you mean by the rank of a matrix and how many methods you have to calculate the uh, rank of the matrix and how do you calculate each and every method uh, you know with examples and all of course those will be learning in the next coming videos okay so basically rank what do you mean by rank rank is nothing but number of non zero rows in a matrix in a given matrix it can be of any order it is not mandatory that you have to calculate rank only to a square matrix you can calculate rank to any type of matrix okay so the number of non zero rows in a matrix is called as the rank of a matrix for example you have a matrix like this 7 8 9 0 1 8 and 0 0 0 so this is a matrix so what is the rank of this matrix it is 2 why because how many non zero rows you are having this is a zero row when you will be calling it as a zero row if all the elements are zero then only you will call it as a zero row for example even this one you see this is having one element as zero even though it is having one element as zero you cannot call it as a zero row because in order to call it as a zero row you need to have all the elements as zero so in this row in the third row we are having all the elements as zero right so this is a zero row non zero rows right rank is nothing but non zero rows so how many non zero rows we have 1 2 therefore the rank will be 2 rank is usually denoted with this symbol row okay so rank of a is equal to 2 So this is how you can calculate the rank of a matrix if it is given directly. But in some cases, they will not give the matrix like this. Here also in the third row also you'll have some numbers. In that case, how to calculate? So we actually have three ways to calculate the rank. First one is by determinant. Second one is by echelon form, and the third one is by the normal form. So usually in your semester exams you have to follow follow echelon form and normal form only. You cannot go with the determinant um, method. okay why because it is a shortcut method so when you follow echelon form or when you follow the normal form uh, at the end if you want to check whether the answer you got is correct or wrong then you can go with this determinant just for checking but don't don't use a determinant method in the exam i'm just telling you for checking purpose i'm just telling you for the uh, verification purpose okay so in this video i'll explain how you calculate the rank of a matrix using determinant form in the next videos i'll be explaining about the echelon and then normal form okay so first by determinant for example we have we took an example so for this matrix how you will be calculating the determinant using sorry the rank using the determinant method so first basically okay now don't mind my nail polish guys uh, some people are really commenting about my nail polish so why do you bother about it i'm very lazy okay so just don't bother about it concentrate on the video so first it is minus 1 right so you know how to calculate the determinant but still i'll tell you again so in order to calculate the determinant the first step that you have to do is you have to give the signs so it starts with plus minus plus got it so first you need to start with this minus 1 so minus 1 into so min you have to close this okay close this and what are the remaining terms 6 3 1 and 1 right so you need to cross multiply the remaining terms that is see you need to cross multiply this way okay you need to multiply these two things which is nothing but 6 into 3 minus 1 into 1 okay next plus Next sign is minus, right? So we have to take minus zero into. So actually, zero into anything will give you zero. But let us write. But in exam, you cannot leave it like that, right? So if after closing this, what you get? Three, three minus five, and one, right? So you need to multiply those things. That is three into three and minus five into one, which means three into three minus minus five into one. Okay. Next, what do you have? You have plus. So plus. Six into, so close. So what do you have? Three six five. Sorry, three six minus five and one right. So you need to cross multiply them as well. So nothing but three into one minus five into six, which is three into one minus of minus five into six. So now let us calculate the determinant. Minus one into six three is a eighteen minus one. Okay, and this is zero. No need to calculate. Plus six into three minus of minus right, so you will get thirty plus plus thirty three. You will get. 
so 18 minus 1 is 17 and 17 into minus 1 you get minus 17 plus 6 into sorry it's 30 actually 30 plus 3 33 you'll get 6 33s are you get 198 198 to minus 17 you will be getting the answer as 181 okay we got the answer as 181 right so if determinant is not equal to 0 rank will be equal to order of the matrix so in our previous case what did we get the determinant as we got the determinant as 181 right so it is not equal to 0 obviously so the rank will be equal to the order of the matrix what is the order of the matrix it is a 3 by 3 matrix right the matrix which we have taken here in the previous page this one this is a 3 by 3 matrix right so obviously the rank will be equal to 3 when you can directly write the rank is equal to 3 when the determinant is not equal to 0 since 181 is not equal to 0 you can directly write the rank as 3 but in case if you are getting it as 0 then what you have to do so if the rank is equal to 0 the rank will be less than the order of the matrix which means see uh, for example if you are having a 3 by 3 matrix and you got the determinant as 0 so obviously the rank will be less than the order less than the order means it can be 2 or it can be 1 also right that how you have to check i'll tell you again let us calculate the determinant let us do it quickly now so it is gonna be plus minus plus right so you get 1 into 4 6 are 24 minus 25 next minus 2 into 3 6 are 18 minus 20 next plus 3 into uh, you get okay three five is a 15 minus 16 okay so what do you get 1 into minus 1 minus 2 into minus 2 plus 3 into minus 1 okay so 1 into minus 1 is minus 1 plus minus 2 into plus 2 is plus 4 and minus 3 so minus 1 minus 3 is minus 4 minus 4 plus 4 cancel so what is the determinant 0 so the determinant of a is equal to 0 right so second case second case means if the determinant is equal to 0 the rank will be less than the order of the matrix so the rank will be less than 3 now so less than 3 means you have two probabilities it can be 1 or it can be 2 so how to calculate whether it is 1 or 2 i'll tell you again in the next step what you have to do is you need to take any one of the minor minor in the sense it can be anything like you can take this part or you can take this part this part any part any part any 2 by 2 matrix you can take from that that will be called as a minor okay for now for this example we have taken 2 4 3 5 okay now let us calculate the determinant for this part 2 by 2 matrix determinant is very easy just cross multiplication right 5 2s are 10 minus 4 3s are 12 which is equal to minus 2 so here you got determinant is not equal to 0 so if the determinant is not equal to 0 rank is order of the matrix so what is the order here it is a 2 by 2 matrix right so the rank of a will be equal to 2 got it suppose here also you got 0 then what will be the rank directly it will be equal to 1 okay so if you are getting 0 in this step it will be equal to 1 so since you did not get 0 it is equal to 2 got it this is about how you calculate rank using the determinant form done so in the next video i'll explain how you calculate the rank by using the echelon form uh, which is also actually easy uh, just let me know guys how i am explaining max because i'm sure about the other subjects uh, because i got uh, you know a lot of feedback a lot of uh, friends to say uh, but now the uh, usually engineering max is for first year students so don't, i don't know much not not much I, I i don't even know single person from first year so i just want the feedback from your side like how i'm explaining okay so that's all thanks for watching the video till the end if you're still having any doubts let me know in the comment section i'll definitely try to clear